the distraction is not only in the West, For those who want to be distracted, there is distractions everywhere, not only in the West. And not just today, even a thousand years ago, people were still distracted, believe me. Don't think thousand years ago everybody was focused and fantastic, no. They were just as good as you or as bad as you <laughs> They were also hanging out in small groups. Now we're hanging out globally <laughs> So, <clears throat> what is that one thing I have to do? To be focused or to be able to receive what is offered? Very simple, just remind yourself, tomorrow morning when you wake up in the morning, just check, still alive. <laughs> because every day over a million people die on this planet. You woke up tomorrow morning, over a million people did not wake up tomorrow morning, will not wake up tomorrow morning, believe me. You woke up, just check, you're still there? Great, isn't it? You're still alive. Can you at least smile? Oh, I'm still alive. Great. Just check those three, four, five people who really matter in your life, check if all of them are alive. Because if one million people die, at least ten million people lost somebody who's dear to them, isn't it? So all those who are… who really matter for you, you're alive, they're alive, fantastic today, it's a great day, isn't it? Don't take this lightly, this is not a joke. Because I'm reminding you of this because most of you think other people die. <laughs> and not me, <laughs> it's only others who die. No, no, you and me will die. Sadhguru, I'm asking a spiritual question, you're t reminding me of morbid things. No, nothing morbid about it. Death is the one common denominator among all of us, isn't it? Yes? One thing common about us, whether you're black, white, blue, yellow, whatever kind you are, man, woman or other six genders, Whatever you may be, one common denominator among all of us is, we will die one day. Look at the universality of death. <laughs> Only when you remind yourself that you are mortal, wanting to know something beyond the physicality of who you are becomes an active process you will become receptive only when you know the body that you carry, the psychological drama that you're going through, all this is going on, but one day, poop, it'll end. Very easily it'll end, believe me. You just have to wait. <laughs> See, you don't have to do anything to achieve death, just have to wait. both for yours and others. People come and say, Sadhguru, this guy, my enemy, I can't bear it. I said, just wait <laughs> You don't have to take the trouble, just wait. One way or the other you will get rid of him, either he will die or you will die. So do this every hour, right now, 7.30, oh, I'm still alive, great. <laughs> From 6.30 to 7.30, you know how many people died on the planet? But it's not me, right now. Now, 
if you are continuously conscious of your mortal nature, you will become one hundred percent alive to the spiritual dimension of who you are. Only because somewhere, it's not that intellectually you do not know, but experientially you're immortal, you know? Because when I look at the number of shoes you have bought, It looks like you're going to live for ten thousand years. <laughs> Number of clothes and shoes, when I look at them, it looks like a lot of people are planning for thousand, ten thousand years of life. No, 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 it's a brief life. If you know it's a brief life and you're definitely mortal, we will try to stretch it with yoga. Hmm? We'll try to stretch it and make it a little longer, but <laughs> Anyway you will die, if you are conscious of this every moment of your life, it may be little struggle in, in the beginning, but just remind yourself every minute that I'm mortal. I'll die someday and maybe it's today. Come to ease with death, then the longing to know what is beyond this physical nature will burst forth within you. Once this longing comes, you are one hundred percent receptive to everything that I represent.